Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Livewire form validation. So let's see how can we validate a form in Livewire. Uh, so first of all, let's create a new Livewire component. Uh, so switch to the command prompt and uh, for creating the new Livewire component, just type here the command php artisan make colon Livewire space component name. And let's say component name is contact. Now press enter. Now run the application. So just type in php artisan cert. Now switch to the project and uh, let's create the route for the contact component. So just go inside the routes directory, then web.php. And now let's create the route. So just write here route get and uh, add here the URI contact and just add here the component class name so just write here contact and also add here the contact uh, class file path like this all right and now just add here colon colon class now save this file and uh, now just go inside the resources directory and uh, then views uh, layouts and just open app.blade.php file. Uh, this is the default layout of component. Uh, inside this file, let's add uh, bootstrap CDN. Okay, so just go to the go to the git bootstrap.com and uh, here let's create uh, just click on get started. And now from here, just copy this CSS and JS file. So just copy this. And paste here after the title. And now just copy this JS file and paste here. All right. Now save this file and uh, now just close this layout file. And now now just go inside the live wire and just open component of contact component view file. All right. And inside this view file, let's create a form. So first of all just add here the section and inside this section just add container in the row column md 6 and also add offset md 3 all right just add here the card Card header and just add here the title contact form. All right, now card body and inside this, let's add here the form. So just write here form and inside this form, uh, let's create some input uh, field. So for that, just write here form group. And inside this, just add here a label for name and add here the text name. Now just create the input type is equal to text and name is equal to name. Alright, and also add here the class. form control now just close this now just copy this and uh, paste here for the email and phone all right now change here the text email and here phone all right and uh, also change here the input text field uh, name email and uh, type also email and here phone and label phone all right now let's add here the uh, text area for the message so just write here form group label for 
message so just write here msg and text here message now just add here text area text area and class is equal to form control and name msg all right now just close this text area and in last just add here the submit button so just write here button class is equal to btn btn success and uh, type submit and inside this just write here submit now save this file and uh, Let's check this form so switch to the browser and just to go to the url contact and here you can see the contact form all right now switch to the project and just go inside the contact uh, component class file so just click on app directory then http live wire and just open contact component class file inside this class file let's get some property so just write here public uh, dollar name public dollar email phone and last message so just write here msc all right now let's bind this property uh, with this input text field so just write here wire model is equal to property name which is name all right so just write here name now just copy this and paste here all right now change the property email and here phone and here let's see all right now inside this contact component class file let's create a function so just write here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is submit form all right and inside this uh, first of all just write here dollar this call the value it validate function so just write here validate and inside this just pass here an array and inside this array just write here name and arrow sign name must be required should be required so just write here required and for the email id email and here the validation required and also email so just write here email and for the phone number phone required and uh, so do digits so just write here digit digits and also set the size in all right and uh, for the MSC, it is also required, so just write here required. Here is the spelling mistake required. All right, required and uh, let's set here the minimum length. Uh, let's say 20. And now, after this validation, just add here. Uh, Mr. DD and dollar this arrow name and uh, dollar this arrow email and uh, dollar this arrow phone and last one dollar this arrow msc 
all right and now just add here all life cycle loop updated so just write here public function and life cycle hook which is updated and inside this uh, just add here pass here an argument dollar fails all right and inside this uh, hook method just write here dollar this arrow validate only and inside this just pass here this argument fails and the second argument add here an, an array and inside this array just copy this and paste here all right now save this file now just go inside the contact component uh, view file and here uh, let's display the error validation error message so for that just write here at the rate error uh, and uh, property name name and inside this just add here a p tag and also add the class text wood engine all right and inside this just print here dollar message just close this directly at the rate and error all right and now just copy this and uh, paste here for the email id and uh, also for the phone and for the message all right now change here the name so just write your msc and uh, for the phone just write your phone and uh, email email all right now save this file now let's uh, bind this uh, submit form method to the form so just write here wire column submit dot event and uh, equal to just add here the this function name submit form so just copy this and paste here all right now save this file now all done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now uh, let's enter the name uh, let's say smith and so on all right and when i remove this name and uh, you can see here the name field is required okay so just enter the name smith john and inside the email field just add here any text and you can see here the validation error message the email must be an valid email address all right so just add here the valid email id smith j at the rate gmail.com now just enter the phone number i'm just going to type here any character and here you can see the phone number must be 10 digits okay so just add here in digits and you can see here no any validation error now just enter the message you can see here the validation message the message must be at least 20 character okay so just add here test message from contact form all right now just click on submit and here you can see the form submitted okay you can see here the name email id phone number and message all right so in this way you can validate live wire form so that's all about live wire form validation so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching